Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK, out foraging again. It's the 22nd of September today, and I'm in a beautiful place called the Ewhurst Park in uh, Hampshire, near to Basingstoke, which is somewhere we're hopefully gonna be running courses in the future. Um, but I found some amazing mushrooms today, and I thought I should show you guys a few of them. So come on down here, Mandy, let's have a look at these. First of all, we've got this one, which I picked from not too far away. What we've got here is quite a common member of uh, the penny bun clade, if you like, the porcini clade of mushrooms, which have, if you can pick it up, white reticulation, that's that netting effect on the stem there, and a brown cap that looks like a, a bread roll, which makes them, uh, which gives them our, our British common name, the penny bun. And they have white to off-white pores when young, which will start to yellow as the mushroom goes or, or grows older. I've done a video on these before. Um, they are uh, pretty much the equivalent of your Boletus edulis, the true penny bun. Uh, the way you tell the difference between them is that this has the matte finish on the cap there, whereas a, a true penny bun, which is very similar, would have a, a shiny cap. Either way, this alone would have made me a very happy forager today. But what I've got down here is another member of the penny bun clade, which I'm even more pleased to find because this is one that's much less common and uh, out of the four in the penny bun clay that's the edulis, the pinophilus, the reticulatus over there and the aureus here, this one is reputed by some people to be the tastiest of the lot. Now it's got a few common names, uh, the queen belete, the bronze belete or my personal favourite is the dark set because Unlike your other members of the penny bun clade, which have that white reticulation, this one has quite dark reticulation, apart from where it meets the cap. And it also has a, a shinier cap than our Boletus reticulatus. Now, this is a mushroom that grows with oak and beech. Um, you normally find it around the edges of uh, oak and beech woodland, and uh, it really is a lovely, lovely find. I'll just cut it in half to show you the lovely white flesh on the inside. This one's perfect. Absolutely lovely. Look at that fresh white sponge. Probably only three or four days old, this mushroom. And I'll cut it in half and show you. You get no discolouring with any of the penny buns. They just have lovely white flesh all the way through. Now the flesh of this one, the aureus, is firmer than the flesh on the other three, the pinophilus, the reticulatus and the edulis. And like I say, a lot of foragers claim that this is the tastiest of the group. So for me today, finding this wasn't the only one there was lots of these all looking as perfect as this and uh, finding these along with all the other mushrooms that I've seen today around here uh, just makes me a really really happy forager so I, uh, I do hope you've liked this little video and if you want to find out more go to www.wildfooduk.com